Yeah, how to respect uh, and honor all the gurus equally. Well, we know that according to Vedic scriptures, in this society, the best people are brahmanas, because brahmanas are uh, spiritual teachers and spiritual practitioners who can help others connecting uh, to connect to the Supreme Lord. And the best of the brahmanas are called Vaishnavas, and the best of the Vaishnavas, they are acting as gurus, as spiritual masters. So these are the best of the best of the human society and naturally they uh, should be respected as representatives of the Supreme Lord um, and they should be treated in the same way it's explained um, in scriptures according to the etiquette, Vaishnava etiquette, we should uh, see God brothers of our Guru uh, on the same level as our Guru but uh, there is uh, certain little difference in formality. For example, um, if your spiritual master, your Diksha Guru, walks into the temple room when the curtains are open, uh, disciples should uh, pay obeisances to his uh, Diksha Guru. But if the person who is who also has a guru status but is not a diksha guru of that disciple walks in then according to the etiquette one should not bow down to uh, the shiksha guru but one can still uh, you know uh, pay pronouns and uh, awful, offer respect uh, to him in different way but uh, not as explicitly as in the case of diksha guru so mentally we should honor everyone on the uh, same level but uh, externally in terms of formality there are differences and of course we uh, respect all the gurus because they represent uh, the preeminent shiksha guru for all his con devotees Srila Prabhupada and uh, it's rather natural because uh, as Prabhupada was saying, love me, love my dog. So if we uh, love and respect Srila Prabhupada and we disregard those who are very near and dear to him, so uh, how that love is genuine. So if we really love and respect Srila Prabhupada, we should be able to pay the same respect to his uh, close disciples who have done so much service for his pleasure.